Tonight, a story of two belts. The Green Belt is a huge tract of land surrounding the Greater Toronto Area. It's a green space which has been described as vital for flood prevention and water filtration. Ontario Premier Doug Ford promised not to touch it and then tried to open it for construction. Premier Ford said he wanted to create housing. The Auditor General says the whole process was rigged to line the pockets of his developer friends. The Wicked Community wants to know, should Premier Ford face trial on charges of corruption? To answer that question, we have two of the world's finest debaters, Doug, a.k.a. Mr. Beaver, from the True North Eager Beaver podcast, and Kodiak Paul, a wild man from parts unknown. The winner of tonight's debate goes home with the only belt that matters, the champion's belt. Welcome to Wicked Fight Night. Good evening, guys, gals, and gender non-conforming pals. My name's Pixel Jake, and you're watching Wicked Fight Night, the finest debate-tainment on the internet. Before we get started, I'd like to thank tonight's sponsors, Big Black Food Trailer, serving UAW members on the strike line Monday to Friday. If you want to support auto workers who are striking to raise the bar for us all, use the link in the description to buy them a meal from Big Black Food Trailer. That's trailer, not truck, for our Lithuanian friends. Wicked Fight Night is also brought to you by Jazz Daredevil Whiskey Highball, hand-canned by the Jazz Daredevil himself, H. John Benjamin. Jazz Daredevil Whiskey Highball, the only second-hand whiskey I'm aware of. And Cedar Seeds. They didn't pay us to advertise, but they certainly contributed. Cedar Seeds, they'll get you there. Now, Wicked Community, I have just one question for you. Are you ready for fight night? Yes, it's Wicked Fight Night. Tonight, we will decide who takes home the Wicked Championship belt. We have two of the finest contenders available on the internet. To start us off, we have a man who needs no introduction, but he's earned one anyway. His name is Doug, and his show is the True North Eager Beaver Podcast. You know, Pixel Jake, some people might not know this, but Doug from the True North Eager Beaver podcast is an avid tennis player. That might be a factor in tonight's fight. Playing tennis, of course, means that if you've had two beers, you can throw energy balls with your hands. What? Uh, we don't know if he's pre-gamed at all, but oh boy! Well, it looks like he might have. He's certainly come to entertain. I tell you, I'm looking forward to uh, to a repeat of the 2001 Agassi Sampras beam struggle after that surgery you had. Uh, but regardless, we're in for a hell of a night. Doug, thank you so much for joining us. Uh oh, we've got a connection. Hello there. Oh, I don't hear your microphone. We have mic issues. Uh, well, we are waiting to reconnect uh, with with uh, the True North Eager Beaver podcast. I would like to introduce our second guest, debating on behalf of Doug Ford, taking the stance that he should not, not face criminal charges. We have the man, the myth, the bear kodiak from parts unknown honestly i'm just sick of them not taking me serious are you ready for it watch this 
Now, Jake, what can you tell us about Kodiak Paul? <laughs> Shit, man, I don't know. He's, he's a shaved Sasquatch on bovine steroids. Uh, you're made of meat, you're out of luck. This guy folders. Kodiak, how are you? If I was any better, I'd be a twin. I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> I am spectacular, sir. Spectacular. Ready to take on all comers all night long. I think it's uh, XLR. Why? Well, why is it, sir, that you believe you're going to take home the Wicked Fight Night Championship belt tonight? Because I'm a beauty. Because I'm the beast. I'm the grizzly bear. I'm the Kodiak. I am the man. The myth. The legend. I only know how to win. That's it. <laughs> ah. That's all. It's winning or it's nothing. My God, he's got an electrifying presence, folks. All right. And, sir, why do you believe you will win the Wicked Fight Night Championship belt? Pure aura, ladies and gentlemen. Pure aura. I have brought the preparation. I have brought the perspiration. And I have just spent some time at a 50th birthday party, and I've got a corona in me. <laughs> so I'm ready to rock. Heck yes. Well, ladies and go. gentlemen... And everyone in between, it's going to be one heck of a match. The rounds will go as such. There will be two four-minute opening rounds, one for Kodiak, one for Doug. Those will be followed by an eight-minute discussion and then two-minute closing remarks. We are going to give the honors to an old friend of the stream, the True North Eager Beaver Podcast. Without further ado... Four minutes, sir. Why should Doug Ford face trial for corruption? I know it's going to sound a little um, simple, but because he's corrupt as fuck. <laughs> now, this is a man who promised us, promised us, after being caught on video, promising to somebody else, or a whole lot of somebody else's, that he was going to open up the green belt for development, and then the people got wind of that and didn't like it, and said, I'm not going to touch it. And he didn't for a while. But he never actually really let it go. And then he got himself reelected. And then, even though the green belt said, I do not consent, he put his hands all over her and started feeling, up, feeling her up. And for American and friends, it's pretty similar to, like, you know, the former guy humping the flag. <laughs> all over it. Put his hands all over it even though she said no, and even though he promised us he wouldn't. And then he set up this system where you could pretty much say he had some willful negligence by design. Mm, that's not good. And for some reason, um, this story has everything. Has some sex, has some drugs, has some rock and roll, and lots of grease. Maybe even grease with a happy ending involved in this story. Three ministers have resigned over the past three weeks. Ooh, that's got to hurt. And um, even though he keeps on saying that he is uh, still not going to touch the Trugine belt, even though he's completely reversed himself, um, when he did that, there was a couple of things that uh, he said out there that, uh, you know, if we're talking about debate, uh, we can talk about little uh, lawyer, lawyerly legal weasel words that he threw in there to make it seem like uh, he's not really done yet. So when you consider that there's a guy with a whole cast of characters and they were all sort of working together to achieve a goal, which was either well, at best unethical and at worst illegal, uh, it sounds very much like uh, something my our American friends can understand is going on. Um, maybe a little rico suaveness to the whole thing. Now, we don't have Rico up here at uh, the North Pole, but, um, well, let's just say there are lots of parallels. Greece is the word, my friends. Greece is the word. And therefore, he should go to jail. Excellent opening argument. Thank you so much, sir. With a rebuttal, Kodiak Paul. Kodiak, why should Doug Ford not 
face trial over public corruption. Well, hello, Pixel Jake. See, the first thing you got to understand, the first thing you got to understand here is that Doug Ford, he, he's a friend. He's one of the folks. He's a friendly folk, friendly folkster selling land to developers who are going to build houses for Ontarians. And we had half a million people move here last year. Half a million. That's a lot in the great white north. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that, my friends. And, and you, you need to understand that houses need to be built. Now, the green belt is, is a very rich piece of land where the water is good, the soil is good, the farming is great, and we can build houses there. And he's got to build houses because we need to build affordable housing for people who have half a million dollars to buy a house, which is what most people who move to this country have at least a minimum $500,000 to buy a new house because half that's what you got to do when you want to move into the green belt. You need a half a million dollars because you need a car and maybe a boat because uh, Doug's just helping his developer friends. That's all it is. He's, he's just helping us developer friends build houses and, and we have to do this for the citizens who live here and the citizens who are moving here and the citizens who want to move here because everybody wants to live in Ontario. At least that's what Doug told me, so I would have to believe him because why would he ever lie to me? Look, I get that a few of his friends made eight or nine billion dollars off the deal, but that's okay. When you're trying to build houses for people, you should earn a bit of a profit. I mean, come on now. I mean, look, just because you bought a chunk of land for a hundred million dollars at 21% interest does not mean that you're corrupt. It means that you're dedicated to getting those houses built for people who live and work and want to move here to the province of Ontario. And listen, listen, I'm a very important man. As you can tell, I have lots of microphones. Lots of people want to interview me because I'm a big, bad wrestler dude. And the thing is, Doug Ford would not put his faith in billionaire land developers if he didn't have his faith in me. I'm the Kodiak. I'm the bear. I'm the grizzly. I'm the mean guy. And, and I'm in your corner for you. I'm in his corner for him. I'm in his corner for all the billionaires who are just trying to make this world a better place. My word. Well, thank thank you for your your stance, Kodiak. Quite an aggressive one. I think we all know what we came here for. Let's see him mix it up. This is eight minutes. It is the discussion round where they can talk back and forth. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's boogie. <laughs> All right, Kodiak, I'm going to make a snack out of you. <laughs> well, I've been told oh, that I'm quite on. the snack. Well, you do look, look at, rather look at, tasty, look at, I must say. Look at this great body of mine. <laughs> oh, my. Jeez. Whoa. Gee. That's a. Uh... I think Whoa. I pulled a muscle. Well, the, the... Stellar <laughs> entertainment. Stellar. <laughs> Kodiak shocked him with a display <laughs> of masculinity. Oh, gee, uh, I, 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 I am stunned. Real men wear pink. I must say, I am totally stunned. Real men wear, yes, real men do wear pink. On that, we can agree, good sir. But your point that Doug Ford is helping the billionaires. Well, of course, he's helping the billionaires. What's wrong with and that? And even if you, let's just say for amusement, that there's nothing wrong with helping billionaires. The problem mm. is, well. As they say in life, it's sometimes not what you do. It's the way that you do it. Ooh, what a hit. You gotta wonder if Kodiak is gonna be willing to keep fighting, knowing that Doug is packing that kind of power. See... Unfortunately, a lot of the billionaires that happened to get this windfall, mm -hmm. two of them in particular, Doug Ford doesn't seem to know whether or not they're his friends or not. No, because no, they, they uh, attend his daughter's <laughs> wedding party. In the, the stag and dough. No, it was stag a, it was, and dough. It was not a stag and dough. Stag and dough. No, it was just a dough. It was just it was a dough. D-O-U-G-H. It was just a dough. Stag you, and you, dough. Heard, yes. you heard D -O -U -G -H. Oh, hang on a sec now. Whoa. We don't know that. Uh, I, 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 you know that. You know that. they. I didn't they, see they envelopes of cash handed over to people. You don't have to see them to know that they happen, my friend. When there's 
too many coincidences. It's not a coincidence. And it just so happens that the same developers that were Doug's friends at the time of the stag and doe who put these little envelopes in the box to contribute to his daughter's wedding. Yeah, he, allegedly. He, his friends are helping um, out her wedding. That's all. And not allegedly that they gave the money. Allegedly that it was for her wedding. But it was for the wedding. Um, but <laughs> it's allowed. Uh, well, it's a, yes. it's a dough party. Let's say that part's allowed. Those same people, happeners, were a chief of staff who was handpicked by the premier to go attend those dinners and sit at that table and look cute and pretty and take envelopes with directions that told them specifically which plots of land to open up. And then coincidentally, those same developers got those just plots planning. of land. That's how you plan it. You got to plan it out. Up. Bad guys locker room, you got rake fire. Yes, I can distract from an important issue with far-right nonsense. Well, how far-right is going to depend on how much you're willing to pay. I see. I'll get my Crusaders case. Kodiak landed a big shot in the beginning, but since then, Doug's just been whittling him down. If Doug can avoid Kodiak's big old bear paws, he's got this match won. Is that complicated? I don't see how that's complicated. I he says, I need this piece of land so I can build something oh. on. This is the piece of land I need. Make sure you sell it to me. What's wrong with that? We have something called competition. Yeah, yeah there's lots of, lots of developers that were competing good for the land. And just like... Well, not the lots. Maybe about 16. That's a lot. That's a lot of developers. And That's a lot of billionaires of them in got one about house. 92% of it. Yeah. When you look at all those coincidences, you know, you got to draw a line somewhere. What? So yeah, he yeah, gave him a reach around. Work, What's the problem here? I don't, I don't see what the problem is. Oh, well, hey, let's talk about reach rounds, my friend, Mr. Uh, Khalid Rashid, who went to uh, Vegas. I never met the man. I don't know. Don't know. With one of him. those developers, and I think one of them was supposed to go at one time, and then they canceled the trip and Did then changed the date to make sure. Around. And then they were not only even... <laughs> They didn't even bother to stay in separate hotels, my friend. Well, you know, they, uh, they didn't even bother now to stay wait in separate just hotels. A hot and then, minute right there. Are you a knight, sir? That looks very heavy. First of all, the name, sir, Rakefire. Second of all, I want to be crystal clear about something up front. You all are just borrowing your land from the rightful king. Well, Charles? Uh, whoever's in charge of England. Look, uh, <laughs> uh, the, 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 the point is they, they, they might, they might be starting some cutesy little uh, a peasant's crusade over in, in uh, New India. But that doesn't mean it could catch on. That doesn't mean that you guys get to get to just start going to your local lords and trying to <laughs> just hold them to the same laws that you have to follow, you serfs. Well, so, yeah. so despite my distaste for it, uh, I, I have to tell you that I am fully on the side of uh, Kodiak.
Boy, they're really giving Rakefire a beating. Landis, are you sure that's the voice you want to go with? I'm already on thin ice with my family because of you. They said I couldn't come to Thanksgiving unless I covered my face and hid my voice for this. I'm doing that thing from the dark night. Well, Doug Ford just made us an offer to get the belt. Oh, shit. Kodiak is half a Sasquatch, and that tennis guy was handing him his ass. Besides, the last time the heartbroken kid went out there, Sam Cedar beat him so bad his wife left. Boy's a mute now. Ford said whoever gets the belt will have their show funded for a year. I can only apologize, folks. Sir Rakefire has interrupted the match. Uh, we're we're going to try to restore some kind of order here. Get him out of the pit. Uh, uh, Foxy, go to commercial. Whiskey highball, please. Well, as you just saw, Janet is speaking with the captain of the fire department now. This is breaking news, and hopefully she can confirm how many in the orphanage are dead and how many are wounded. While she's getting that information, we'll go to Frank Cappersnacks with a brief sports update. What do you got for us, Frank? The Jazz Daredevil Whiskey Highball, hand canned by me, the Jazz Daredevil. Folks, we've uh, we've managed to restore order. We had uh, mounds of security tackle Sir Rakefire. He was not scheduled for tonight. I, I can only apologize for that interruption. We're we're gonna go to closing remarks from uh, from the contestants tonight. Of course, not including Sir Rake Fire. If we could reverse the the opening order, I would very much like to have Kodiak Paul explain to us, sir, why do you feel you've won the Wicked Fight Night Championship belt tonight? Well, I mean, look at this. This this is the the, the epitome of manliness right here in front of you. I'm in a pink and speedo. I'm ripped. I got this voice, this hat, these sunglasses. I'm a bad ass. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, the billionaire class that Doug Ford is a part of is going to enrich all of us. Save the billionaires. Think of the bill. Won't you think of the billionaires when they're trying to build houses for people at half a million Who bucks will a think shot? Of the billionaires. Who will think of the billionaires? Come on. My God. Hey, it, bringing to light the plight of the billionaires, Kodiak, Paul, thank you so much. All right, and with two minutes of closing remarks, we turn to Doug from the True North Eager Beaver podcast. Sir, why do you feel that you've won the Wicked Fight Night championship belt? (gasps) 
No audio. Oh, dear. In that case, I think we have a winner. In large part, due to technical issues, this match is going to Kodiak Paul. What can I say? I mean, come on. That, you know, come on. Look at this. Come on. The alphabet of manliness is right here. A through Z. World champion. Heavyweight belt. Thank you very much. Kodiak, you have won 100% of the matches on Wicked Fight Night. How does it feel nice. to be the reigning champion of debate on the internet? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's glorious. It's, it's the thing I've dreamt of since I was but a wee lad. Well, we are honored, sir, to bask in your masculine presence. And may I say, thick musk. Well, you know, you got to take a bath in the musk if you want to smell like a chap. Wise words to close our stream. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll remind you that tonight's stream was brought to us by Big Black Food Trailer. If you want to buy a meal for striking auto workers, look in the description. Monday to Friday, you can purchase a meal for anyone who's fighting for our rights as workers. I'm sure Kodiak Paul would not appreciate that. And it is also brought to you by Jazz Daredevil Whiskey Highballs. Jazz Daredevil the only secondhand whiskey I'm aware of. And finally, Cedar Seeds, which was a uh, big and uh, just, a, just a huge influence on the, the general way this, this uh, was conceived. Uh, thank you so much, contestants, for joining us tonight. Thank you so much, audience, for stopping by and cheering on the contenders. This has been WYCD Fight Night. We'll do this again when we feel like it.